Thank you for enjoying your sweetest moments with me merging timelines. Today I'm going to receive our message. This is going to be for my Capricorn Sun and Moon viewers. Capricorn Sun and Moon viewers. Thank you for returning to the channel. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. Let's see what comes through for my Capricorn. I always read for sun and moon viewers. If you have a sun or moon within Capricorn, these messages are to offer you truth and clarity along your ascension journey. Capricorn, Capricorns, my Capricorns. So you have the King of Teacups as your environment in the past. You may have been dealing with someone emotionally manipulative, and this was like a father figure to you, someone that you expected a great deep of love from. But since then, you've been pulled in another direction. Um, this could be to be a different type of role model when it comes to love. This could be not hiding behind a mask because there's someone around you that you're familiar with and they could be a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, but they don't have to be. They're just someone who's not very good with money and they mask it with the amount of personas that they can play. Maybe they are working a lot of positions and they've worked a lot of positions in their life. And I feel like this is how this person has come into this sort of persona that can appease everyone around it except for itself, right? So you're dealing with this type of energy around you. Maybe you see this about people at this time. They can find a way to appease everyone but themselves. Are you being an example of this or are you exposing this, Capricorn? Because there's something about your heart that is undecided and it is whether or not it wants to ascend spiritually at this time. Now this comes when you have some sort of conflict with a familiar structure or design. Not to be specific, but when you align to something outside of you that has been passed on for generations, right? Let's say this is a generational habit of doing something one way and so you're here to break the cycle and the way you're doing this is by simply telling others that you genuinely want to feel loved and it's not like you don't think those of your past share love with you but i think you want to ascend the idea of love within yourself and therefore those around you that wish to stay. Capricorn, sun and moon. So you're looking to ascend everyone else's description of love around you because you, you're exposing the fact that they can appease everyone but themselves. The only thing about this font in the sideways position is that a person is aware of their gift, but they're also holding a place for those that they know aren't spiritually on their level. Capricorn.
Be wary of allowing others to use you, okay? You are the magician to these people. I feel this is why you continue to have this tea party with them. It's very tempting. <laughs> they play a tune and it's something that matches your tune. And all of a sudden you're along for the ride. Capricorn. They want you to spend time within though. I feel as though you feel this call to go within about a cycle that you keep doing within yourself. And it's easy to see how others can appease other people, but have you seen how you can do the same? Because if we're recognizing something in another, that means we must recognize it on ourselves. It takes one to know one, right? It takes one to know one. So they really wanted you to go in and reevaluate something that you've been taking with you simply because it's now like a stretch mark. You know, it's something that you didn't plan to have, but it's there and you see no way of removing it. A scar, I mean, internal scars can feel like that. They can feel as though they're visible even when you do your best to cover them and ascend out of them. Your past energy is going to be your environment with the King of Cups in reverse. This is Scorpio energy. This could be uh, if you have a Scorpio sun or moon, um, Capricorn mix. This could be you closing off your feelings. Um, there's someone of your past that you feel as though you've lost, no matter how much you try to find them, no matter how much you try to understand them, they're a loss for you. And so this new tune that everyone around you is playing has you in a very fondful tea party. One where you share, you care, and you share, you share and care. But we know what happens when we play this song. And we play the same song over and over again with the karmic wheel, the world card in reverse. This is like looking for the keys out Alice in Wonderland, okay? You're trying to find the keys out of Alice in Wonderland and you know it's deep within you, but you don't know if you want to sacrifice your own growth at this time to ascend others with you. <laughs> These people that you have tea with. You'll let go of something that you value because you've avoided making a decision to ascend. And I don't say that to create fear. I say that to create awareness that, okay, I'm reflecting your light. I'm reflecting that this is the reality of the circumstance my Capricorn is in at this time. There is a level of you that is halting your own ascension based off of the tea parties. I, I don't like... This is saying that I have the power to manipulate others, not manipulate them in a dark way, just this is like the vibe that's the strongest in the room, Capricorn. This is that. This is the vibe that is the strongest in the room. But in what type of room do you want to vibe with? Do you want to be the vibe that others try to get to or do you want to be the vibe that is sharpening itself in order to get to newer levels? And that's your decision, right? That's simply going to be your decision and everyone's different. Not everyone came to find themselves deeper and deeper 
you know. Some people just want to feel powerful in a place where they've never felt power. And then other people want to come to find peace. And so there's two ways to conduct business, if you will. You can conduct business where you have just enough because you are ascending without needing to have anyone else pour in your cup or you are waiting for others to share show and tell with you and you're not ascending you're still at a great level right you're the magician you can conduct business but there's two different forms of business business where you're robbing from peter to pay paul or business where you're in the bartering system i will give to you what I have in exchange for what you have of equal value. If it is not of the equal value, then I must ascend my conversation, right? And maybe it's just that for a Capricorn, noting that when we have tea time or when we sit down and commune with others, we are to match its wavelength, meaning sharpening our tools, playing that um, game of keeping up, but not keeping up in that sort of mocking way, keeping up in a way where you are thirsty for growth and thirsty, I spit all over the place, sorry. Just ready for growth, okay? Capricorn. What's some good karma messages for my Capricorn? What are some good karma messages for my Capricorns? Some good karma messages. What's some ideas that we can give Capricorn to create some good karma for themselves? These are just fun ways of thinking to pay forward. Capricorn. Make an anonymous donation to an online donation page. So if there's someone that has been accepting donations and you don't really know them, but know that they would be a, well, just know that you don't know them. And that's the best way of electrifying someone, save electricity. So some of you may need to cut back on your electricity. And there is a reminder. Who is, I'm telling you, I feel a little off balance in this reading for some reason. I feel with this hair font in the middle, a little uneasy about the fact that someone may slightly be aware of their own postponing of ascending Capricorn. They're dealing with some issues of someone of the past that they can't emotionally connect with no matter how much they try because this person is never really showing their true feelings. This person is never really showing themselves. This person tends to show up in everyone that this Capricorn is a, running into. You have the patience, right? There's something about teaching and learning that is a little bit difficult at this time, but know that everything is happening in divine order. So divine order is happening. It says everything is how it needs to be right now. So look past the illusion and see the underlining order, sorry, underlining order. Teaching and learning, keep an open mind and learn new ideas, then teach these ideas to others. So maybe you've had a hard time opening your mind up to different 
realms that you typically aren't drawn to and you're going to be allowing yourself to do this in the very near future because you enjoy the way that you've been conducting business with others conversations you've been um, the driving force in a lot of the rooms that you step in so you have patience your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize so still they need nurturing and patience know that you have to be patient for the things that you are planting you are investing every bit of sense of belief in your willingness to allow its process to unfold naturally okay one more life review so some of you may be taking a life review right now take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is in unbalanced so you want to resolve anything that is unbalanced at this time within yourself be wary of the tunes that you're playing with others if they aren't in your ascension if they don't allow you to ascend your ways of thinking and let go of possessions that don't truly bring you any sense of fulfillment okay these things will help you decide something that you've been avoiding it's it's a stalemate kind of situation right this is i refuse to move so if i refuse to move what hap my the possibilities around me aren't going to be that necessary for me to hear at this time So this is the message that I have for you, Capricorn. Thank you so much for sharing time and space with me. I hope that this message brings you truth and clarity. If you need help or if you need someone to um, look into your situation, please feel free to check out my Etsy account. I look forward to working with you. Bye.